You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. A rescued animal that makes it to a shelter in Southern California doesn't always survive. He, in fact, could face a death sentence if it is not adopted by a loving family. One woman is trying to change all that, though. Melissa Basilar joins us now to explain how she's doing it. How are you doing it? <laughs> well, uh, we are actually, we have quite a few things that we want to do to change the, the state in the future. But for now, we're pulling a few dogs at a time, putting them into great foster homes. That way they can learn the ropes, learn how to be a loved family dog, and we're trying to find them great forever homes. And you go to around the shelters and, yes. and get them? Yes. Uh, there are only kill shelters in California. A lot of people don't know that, and they are overwhelmed right now. People really need to learn to spay and neuter their pets. There's a lot of places yeah. where you can do that. Our website has a lot of places that you could look on so that you could actually get low-cost spay and neuter. That's where we all have to start and stop buying our pets and adopting them. Right. Who did you bring with us well, uh, for us today? This little girl oh. is Penny Lane. Hi, Penny uh, Lane. Say hi. Uh, she is about four and a half month old, we think Beagle. But mm -hmm. when you get them from the shelter, you never can be sure. So she's got some ears on her, doesn't she? She does. It might be she might be mixed with Bassett. We're not really sure. She has a fracture on her back leg, which is going to be healed in a couple days. Um, what was she's she doing just there? a great dog. She was just running around my yard, is actually. Right? <laughs> yeah. But she's getting along well. She walked she's right a, in here today, oh, she's right fine. into the studio. She's yeah. so fine. docile, I can't imagine her running around enough to break her leg. Uh, <laughs> she's being very good for camera. I think she uh, uh, <laughs> she knows the cameras are on her. That's right. Oh, Aren't you using so Putting goodness. her best foot forward. Exactly. And uh, you said that uh, that you go out to uh, a lot of the shelters. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised? Did you come from some place where they did not have kill shelters? I don't know if they didn't have kill shelters or if I was was just too young to realize that there were kill shelters there um, I came from New Jersey I, I was originally from New Jersey I moved here about seven years ago with my two dogs I had two cocker spaniels Hi, <laughs> and when I started to realize what was going on I actually one of my neighbors was keeping their dog outside and I walked over and I said listen if you ever want me to watch your dog during the day I have no problem she said actually I really don't want my dog I was thinking about oh. Uh. bringing her to a shelter. I went, well, let me see if I could help you. I took the dog in, brought her up to my apartment, which I already had two <laughs> dogs in, started making some phone calls and found out that all of the shelters here do kill. Um, at that point, I went, oh my God, I'm not bringing this dog to a shelter. Let me try to find her a home. And I went to an adoption event with another local group. And I realized that these local groups are really just overwhelmed. I mean, yeah. we really need foster homes. We really need more places to put these animals because dogs are being dropped off by the thousand every day in How California. How long do they last? Three days, yeah. 72 hours. If they're an owner surrender, they can put them down at any time, actually. And if they're not an owner surrender, they have to hold them for three days. And so, wh where is your shelter? And tell me about it. Well, our actually, we actually use people's homes, so we're all around Studio City, Van Nuys. We do all of our adoptions at Maxwell Dog, right on Ventura Boulevard uh -huh. in Studio City on Sundays. That's where these cute little outfits came from um, that are on my, my doggies. Um, so we actually put our adoptions on out there. We have them up on different websites, and people will call us or email us, and we'll have them fill out an application. I do a home check. I always want to make sure that the dog is going to a home that's going to be the forever home, so it's really important to make sure that the puppy gets along with everybody else in the household, kids, other animals, pets, cats, right. whatever these everybody has. Um, and, and Penny Lane is up for adoption and Max Power yes, is as well. I'm holding Max, Max Power. Power. Yes, and he's Max Power. so adorable. He's even talking to me I over there. There's a lot of power in that. <laughs> yeah, I think he weighs all of about four pounds. Where do you want to go? You I think go to that's Dave? perfect. Four pounds. That's exactly what he weighs. And we have pictures of some other dogs that are up for adoption, yeah. I believe. That is little Lululemon. She's a four month old chihuahua. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Great with cats, kids. Oh, well, that's Chester. Chester's a Jack Russell mix. He's oh. about three pounds as well um, and he's great with everyone that's Jordan Jordan is a lab pit bull mix and he needs to be an only dog but he is a great great companion that's Franny Franny's great with kids great with cats dogs she's about four and a half months old Karen terrier mix six pounds 
And you say you also work to uh, get some of the dogs out of state because oh, yeah. there's actually a shortage of adoptable <laughs> Absolutely. dogs. Absolutely. We do a lot of transports. Um, you'd be surprised. We will have labs and labs and labs in the Ooh. shelter that are getting, <laughs> getting put down. And places Ooh. like Washington and Oregon are looking for them. Really? So we try to get donations together and fund transports. It costs about $3,000 to get 60 mm. to 80 dogs out of the state to safety. And people can find out about all of this on my website. We're always looking for people to foster dogs, help um, with donations, obviously, volunteer at our adoption events. <laughs> Penny Lane is singing to us, yes. I believe. Well, she's a hound. <laughs> she's a hound. Yeah, got some beagle in there. And she wants sure. to play, I'm sure. So she's Bring like, let me on. down. Let me show them. <laughs> All right, well, let's we have hope a... we can get these guys home. So. Yes. I'll take Max Power. All right, Max Power. For more information on Melissa's efforts, you can go to kcal9.com. Click on Scene on TV. We have a link there. It has all the information you need to know. All right, good luck to you. Thank you so much. And thank hope you. We appreciate it. it. Thanks for all bringing right. in the pups. No problem. All right, we have the annual list of the best party schools. It's coming up next. And parents, you might not want your kids to see it. <laughs>